Okay guys, so I just want to talk about my world record attempt for most consecutive half marathons on treadmill. So here are some people doing similar projects. Uh, one of them is Mika Shavit. He, he has the world record for most consecutive half marathons at 1,078. Uh, Carlito Buenaventura, he holds the record set a world record for consecutive half marathons at 628, ultra marathons at 620 and half marathons at 977, and he's still continuing these streaks. So he's probably going to beat Mika Shavit, and uh, Shannon Lee Walker is currently uh, going for the world record for most consecutive half marathon, uh, ultra marathons for a woman. She's uh, aiming for 366 days or one year. So what were my motivations for attempting the world record? So I was really motivated by Laszlo Perringer, he holds the world record for most consecutive half marathons on the treadmill at 120 days. So I was pretty sedentary, and I really need a long-term goal to get to the habit of being active. So when did I start and end my attempt? I started on June 18th, 2024, and I beat the world record on October 15th, 2024. Here's a bit of a visual. So half the day is in June. All of the months, uh, all the days in July, all the days in August, all the days in September, and half the days in October. So four month period. Here are the rule specifications. Must be done on consecutive calendar days. So for example, I have to do it on the first, the second, the third, the fourth, etc. Yeah. And a standard treadmill must be used. Um, and then settings of treadmill can be made by participants' preference. This means that there's no like uh, speed that you have to go to. You can walk it, you can run it. As long as you complete it, you're good. Oh, also, you don't have to make it very hilly. You can, you, uh, you can go flat ground or even negative uh, elevation. And then participant cannot grasp the handles of treadmill with hands. And then the fifth one is participant may not leave the treadmill at any point of the half marathon. This one can be hard at times because sometimes you have to uh, poop or pee. Uh, so sometimes you have to just let it happen, slow down the speed. And uh, yeah, like 0.5 or one mile per hour. And then you just uh, poo or pee in like a bucket or something. Or, or sometimes you, you just have to poop your pants. It, it is what it is, you know. Um, was this world record attempt worth it? Absolutely. 100%. I experienced a lot of uh, benefits from attempting this world record, and there were very little setbacks. So here were the benefits. Uh, a, I, I gained the habit of being active on a daily basis. I lost close to 20 pounds throughout this journey. I slept more hours, slept earlier than usual and thought more about my daily schedule. So yeah, here's some setbacks. I got sick for a couple of weeks throughout the attempt, um, but throughout that time, I just try to go slower and then I try to recover as much as I can, eat a little more than usual. And Newton's first law uh, mentions an object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion. So on the days that I didn't want to do it, um, uh, all I was telling myself was, I just need to start. And, you know, if I start, I'm more likely to keep on going and I'm more likely to finish. If I put it off, um, I'm, I'm most likely going to keep putting it off and and not end up doing it. So, yeah, that's so sometimes I just, just force myself to start. And um, I usually put my treadmill at 3.7 miles per hour or about 6 kilometers per hour which makes the average about three and a half hours. Uh, my fastest half marathon was two hours and seven minutes on September 23rd. That was for the uh, virtual pinball race. And I've spent over 400 hours walking throughout this journey. So uh, this section just focuses on tips that I'll give. Um, so the first tip is overcoming boredom. So, like, definitely have something to do while you're on the treadmill. That could be playing a game. So I played Timu Farmland for about an hour a day. I talked to some of my friends on Discord or uh, and whatnot. Uh, I ate food. You know, that's pretty fun. 
Uh, I did school work and regular work throughout this. I watch videos, scroll on social media, and journal. So that's what I did. Uh, let's see. And then sleep is also very important. Uh, try to sleep pretty early, uh, about eight to ten p.m. for me usually, so I can get that. I can get awake pretty early and get it done pretty early. So yeah, I can have the highest chance of getting it done. And uh, you have to adjust for your diet. Uh, make sure you fuel yourself adequately for sure. Um, I did weekly weigh-ins to make sure I'm eating enough. And um, yeah, general rule of thumb, if you're losing multiple pounds per week, you're probably eating too little and need to increase your intake. Absolutely. So hydration is also very important. Uh, drink a lot of water and um, electrolyte drinks. Uh, my favorite hydration drink by far is 7-Eleven Replenish. Uh, Gatorade, Powerade, and Body Armor are also really good alternatives as well. Um, in terms of clothing and footwear, uh, this one's also very important. So you want to make sure your clothing is uh, comfortable and not too uh, tight fitting. Yeah, um, you want to get uh, wider shoes because a lot of the shoes in the market, they squish your feet a bit too much. And that can be pretty uncomfortable and your feet can be squished. So, so yeah, definitely uh, check that out. And uh, I would also recommend go, uh, putting your feet through a foot scanner. Uh, you can find these at some stores. Uh, I did mine at Morel. Um, yeah. So, um, like, many people just wear shoes that don't properly fit them or they're they're not um uh they're uh they're not um they they put too little pressure on certain spots etc so so that you can get some symptoms from that and you can s find shoes that are better fitting for you so yeah um and acknowledgements absolutely I want to thank Laszlo for motivating me to do this record. Uh, check him out. He's done a lot of great feats, like uh, walking uh, the distance of the United States in 78 days. That's absolutely incredible. Um, he's done an ultra marathon on uh, Margaret Island. Uh, yeah, he's done a lot of FKTs. Um, and... Um, He's done a lot of really cool stuff. Check him out. I want to also thank all my subscribers for watching, commenting, and liking the videos. And I want to thank everybody who joined me in this journey. So, yeah. Um, okay. That's all, all I have for now. Um, yeah.